I blew the motor on Scrappy and it wasn't good. Definitely not good. What up, what up, what up, it's West on the Reset. I'm back with another video, man. And today, guys, man, got a big, interesting meeting today. That's right, man. So if all goes good, man, your boy Son of Reese, man, might be supplying y'all with a product that I know that y'all are gonna definitely need and use. So definitely, man, make sure y'all stick around for this whole entire video. But it's not all good, man. Last night, I took a cruise in Scrappy off camera. Just went downtown, cruised around, and we had an issue, man. So today, we got to try to see if we can figure out what exactly is going on with that, man. So make sure y'all stick around for this whole entire video. Do what you need to do. Join the Stun Squizzy by hitting that subscribe button right now and turning those post notifications to all because at 70K, I am giving away a free custom car. That's right, man. You definitely want to be in that 70K live stream. But let's get into this lit-ass video. That's right. Right after this lit ass intro. Let's get it, let's go. Yeah. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers. Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Or bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you stand my bed. Y'all know what it is, man. Your boy Stunner Reese, man, is out here, man. Thanking God for another beautiful day, man, here in the shot. Definitely, man. Had a great, great weekend down at Wisconsin Dells with the fam. Uh, and, uh, man, it was a great opportunity to go down there and experience something new. That's right. Never had been to Automotion Car Show before. And um, it was a lot of pickup trucks. It was a lot of Mustangs, a lot of Mopars. But it was something different. A lot of imports. I mean, it was just a, a wide variety of everything down there. We seen some Dunks. We seen some G bodies. We seen some box Chevy. So you know what I'm saying. It, you pretty much get a variety of everything, and just the vibe of it was awesome. So make sure y'all go back and check out those videos, man. Definitely had fun down there. I like that with my brother uh, Tyler Whipaholics. Also seen some subscribers down there, man. Appreciate all the love and support from each and every one of y'all, man. Y'all just don't know, man. Your boy Stunner Reese, man, really, really appreciate that love. Y'all just don't know the inspiration that y'all give to me. But what we got to going on today is we got to get to the money. And that's what I'm literally, literally trying to do, man. Trying to set myself up, man, for the future. And, uh, man, I think this is a great opportunity that came uh, to me. Uh, so I'm going to try to see if I can get 
with my assistant. Yes, I have officially got an assistant, guys, because I got so much going on in life, man, that I need an assistant. I cannot do it all on my own. And um, yes, she is going to be assisting me uh, to get some things done, get some projects done. Uh, and we're going to try to, you know what I'm saying, just level up, man, and, and get a lot of things that you guys asked me for, uh, you know what I'm saying, out to you guys and just make everything run a whole lot smoother. You know, Stunner Reese is a business at the end of the day. I really am. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, I got to make sure that all aspects of my business, my brand is taken care of. So it's hard to do it all alone. So, yeah, man, definitely, man, we in a squizzy lab. That's right, man. Amongst all the great shout out to everybody that supports your boy. Definitely, man. I appreciate it, man. We got got to, um, you know, wish my boy Jeff, man, uh, 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 to stay strong. Body man Red has temporarily left him. Uh, I don't know what the whole situation is. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully Body Man Red will be coming back pretty soon. Uh, he did say he was coming back. But as of right now, when I talked to him last, he did not come back. So, yeah. But that leaves me in a predicament because y'all see <laughs> Drac is sitting in my garage with my damn clothes that I had took out the Reaper in it. And um, yeah, we ain't got no hood and we ain't got no trunk. So he over there fighting to get everything done. I really need to get this thing back on the road. Playboy Jeezy told me to bring this car yesterday um but man with no hood and no trunk i just didn't even feel like bringing it and i should be bringing it today so now it's a whole another issue i know playboy jesus like dude get, i'm bring the car get it into me so i can get it you know what i'm saying done get the brakes done so y'all just don't y'all just don't know everything i got going on man the other thing yesterday man y'all see we got scrappy underneath the car cover took this thing out man and uh guys i was downtown cruising i was not beating on the car at all i was just literally cruising because i just wanted to cruise man I, I i was downtown i was making sure that the, the car wasn't gonna run hot or nothing like that and it didn't and then all of a sudden it seemed like i lost power in one of the cylinders so i gotta try to see what's going on with that uh hopefully god's willing is just spark plugs and wires and maybe a distributor cap or something like that. Um, like I said, I wasn't beating on it. And I could tell when it lost the power because it kind of popped. And then after that, it just didn't have all the power from all the cylinders. So, uh, yeah, so we had that situation going on. And uh, so I got to resolve that, man. That's going to be part of today's video, me trying to dissect that uh, and try to see what's going on with that. So we're about to jump in the Reaper. Um, there's the giveaway car over there guys. Don't forget man 70k. We are giving that car away and don't forget guys Got fest less than two weeks away guys So make sure you go in the description of this video right now and grab your gap fest tickets You definitely need to get your tickets now. All right get your tickets now Also, you can book your rooms at the jury suites in Collinsville, Collinsville, Illinois it's 10 minutes from the track. You'll be right there. That's where the host hotel is. So yeah, so let me go ahead and get up out of here. I made it, y'all. I made it. Still ain't programmed that damn garage door opener. Y'all know I be slacking. Y'all know I be slacking. But I'm going to get it done, y'all. See, that's why I need an assistant. I need my assistant to come all the way over here. Yes. Collinsville. Collinsville. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I need my assistant to actually uh, come and uh, help me to program my damn garage door. No, I'm just joking. I don't need no help programming it, but just got so much going on. And it only takes two minutes to do it. I'm just a procrastinator right now straight procrastinating man but y'all stick around uh your boy started reach man about to go grab some gas you already know i gotta get gas then head to this meeting and i'll see y'all back when i get over here to the gas station let's go yeah 
All right, guys, y'all know whenever I need gas, man, I use my Esker wallet. That's right, man. It is the dopest wallet out. Slim design comes in many different colors. And definitely, man, the cool features are you got this cool little button right here. You pop that and your credit cards pop right out. That's right. Also, it has RFID protection so that anytime somebody tries to scan your information off of your credit cards, they can't because it blocks it also it comes with a tracking device option where you could track your wallet anywhere mm -hmm. in the world man using a nice app right on your phone guys so make sure you do what you need to do go in the description of my video right now and grab your esker wallet today that's right that way you can get a discount and you don't have to pay the full price man get your esker wallet and get your gas cool style that's right man get rid of that old bulky wallet Three hours later. All right, gang. So your boy Stunner Reese, man, is finishing up a meeting right now, man. And it went really well. Got my partner over there. Got my... <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> Look at the mask, y'all. Look at the mask. Y'all see who it is. <laughs> yes, sir. We got something I want to show y'all. Sneak peek. Boop. Ah, that's all y'all going to get, man. Y'all going to have to stick around for everything else that's coming. But meeting with Will, we got some big things popping, man. That's it. Hey, we going to do what we do. Yes, sir. That's it. That's all. Like, like Stunner always close out. I don't know why this don't leave my mind. It's crazy. I'll be saying it to my children. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's get it, get it. Let's get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, man. I'll let y'all a minute. Let's go. All right, gang, so your boy Stunner Reese, man, is back in the Reaper, man, feeling good about this meeting I just had, man. Listen, your boy Stunner Reese really is trying to level up, and hopefully, you know what I'm saying, with you guys supporting me, I'll be able to definitely, man, change the world. That's right, man, because what I'm trying to do, man, is a game changer. I'm trying to bring y'all a real good product, man, that y'all will be able to get anytime you're ready anytime you want and we can definitely make sure that you know what i'm saying we get y'all all the way together that's right man with that sauce baby and i ain't gonna tell y'all everything right now man but just know hey your boy stunner reese wants y'all to look good and feel good man so definitely just tune in to what's coming uh just got some last little things to uh finalize on the uh thing on what we're trying to work on with my agent my manager, Lisa, uh, assistant, however y'all want to call it. But yeah, we are definitely trying to finalize some last little things. And then we are going to, man, try to, you know what I'm saying, put this out to y'all. So y'all just stick around, man. Hey, God is good for putting me in this position uh, and giving me the opportunity. Now it's just time for me to get up and run with it, you know, and take advantage of this opportunity, man. God is good. All I can say that all the time, man. All right. But uh, now, your boy Stunner Reese is on his way back to Scrappy. We're going to try to see if we can figure out what the issue with Scrappy is and see if we can get that resolved. Hopefully, God's willing, it's something simple. Uh, I want to start on the raffle for Scrappy this week. So, man. That's, that's hopefully the, the plan is to start on the raffle for Scrappy this week and uh, get it all the way situated and uh, you know go from there, man, getting it ready for the next moment. All right? But yeah, y'all just stick around, man. And uh, I'll holler at y'all in a minute, man. God is good all the time. Let's go. All right, gang. I have made it back to the property, man. And uh we're about to take the car cover off of Scrappy and uh, see if we can dissect this issue and see what's going on. Man, it's like, y'all know, man, if something can happen, it can happen to your boy Stunner Reese. I'm glad I had this car cover on because I don't know what the hell this stuff is right here, but I'm glad it ain't spilled on the actual car and it's on this car cover. man real life things with your boy stunner reese man it's real life man i'm super excited about this uh venture that i'm i'm going on uh 
you know, I talked about it a little bit in the past, but I, now I, I think I'm ready to go ahead and get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes things spark your interest and spark your, you know what I'm saying, uh, what your goals are. And sometimes it's just timing. Timing is, is everything sometimes, you know what I'm saying, with certain situations. So uh, even though it was presented to me at another time, it might not have been the right time. Um, just because at that time, my mind might have not been all the way in the right position. And that's not a good thing. You got to always stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's something that, you know what I'm saying, the OGs used to always say. You know what I'm saying? Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And uh, I guess I wasn't ready. I wasn't sharp. You know what I'm saying? And that's not a good thing. So, you know, hopefully now at this point in time, I can take care of my business and do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? So I can get my situated situation all the way together. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Make this uh, whole venture do what it's supposed to do. And get this thing unlocked. Pop this hood. Now I'm gonna have to start the car up. And I'm gonna tell y'all what the issue was. Once again. But so basically, like I said earlier, it was like the car was running on not all eight cylinders so i want to just take a look at the plugs and see if i might have uh you know with me being underneath the hood and stuff uh did something where i got one of the plugs on the wires or something or well, one of the wires is is uh you know burning or something like that start with that because y'all know i just recently put the water pump I mean the uh, thermostat on here so just want to make sure I ain't start with that these wires feel like they are old as heck definitely need to change the wires anyway and the plugs of course but I don't see any wire that look like it might have been rubbing them against the manifold that might have uh came loose i wanted to check with start with that uh looking at the distributor cap everything still seems like it's, it's down on on there so i don't think that's the issue so i'm gonna go ahead and uh start this thing up and see if I can tell which cylinder is not uh, firing and how I can do that. Old trick is you just get the engine a little warm and then you spray some type of fluid on all the manifolds and whichever one doesn't burn that means that that cylinder is not getting hot. And then from there, I'll pull that plug. And this plug back here is going to be a bitch to pull. But I'll try to pull the plugs and, uh, you know, see if I can uh, figure out, you know what I'm saying, if it's just that bad plug. Hopefully, it's just a bad plug and, uh, you know, plugs and wires and nothing internally with the engine. Hopefully, that's the case. All right, so let me go ahead and... Get this thing cranked up, let it warm up, and uh, let's see what we get, y'all. Let's see what we get, man. Who I am becoming a home handy mechanic, even though I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> Scrappy. Scrappy gonna make you.
that's the one I said I hope it's not. to be that son of Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Maybe I should have said it. I hope it ain't one of the other ones. Oh, God. Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. Damn it. Alright, guys. So, this is the one, man, right here. I hope you guys was able to see it, but I sprayed this, just in case you didn't. It was just any type of liquid. I sprayed it on the manifolds. And when I sprayed it on the ones that was working, it immediately uh, burned off. But when I put it on that one, it just sat on it. So it just let me know that this cylinder, this plug is not firing. So I got to try to attempt to take this plug out and see if uh, it's just all the way fouled out or something. Or see if it's getting any spark or whatever. So let me try to get my tools together and uh, let's get to it, man. It ain't going to fix itself. All right, let's go. All right, gang, so man, we got a bad situation. All right, let me tell y'all what's going on. All right, so basically, I have a problem where I cannot take off this spark plug with these manifolds right here, with the exhaust headers right here. So I gotta actually take off all of these bolts. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six bolts that I gotta remove. And then, after I remove them bolts, I gotta see if I can get this off with this bracket here uh, for this uh, power steering pump. So, some type of extra bracket. Oh, I may be able to just unbolt this and get that off. But uh, let me get these bolts off and then I gotta see if I can pull this back enough so that I can get a wrench on there and uh, break those uh, that spark plug loose because I can't get a wrench in there and nothing in there to get that out without removing uh, the header right here is just way too close it, it, can't, it won't allow me to get anything on there so just a messed up situation but hey man bolts gotta be turned and uh, I gotta try to see if I can get it done alright so y'all just stick around Prop y'all up right here. See if I can find the right tools. Hopefully, I got them. Pretty sure I got them. Okay. So, I think I found the right socket. Which is 11 millimeter holes. Get that one. Not going to be able to get this one. So, basically, it looks like I'm gonna need 11 millimeter open box in. Got it. Got it, y'all. Alright. We ain't out the woods yet, though, y'all. We ain't not out the woods.
tension off of this one. here Now that I got all the bolts out. Okay, 
loose though. Broke it loose. And I'll drop it. <laughs> A few moments later. That plug look nasty. Super nasty, y'all. Wow. Look at that. Well, it definitely look like it's fouled out. AC Delco R455. All right, so I'm gonna run and grab some more plugs. But before I do that, what I'm going to attempt to do, and it's very hard to do by yourself, let me try. I'm gonna see if I can see if I can uh, see if there's any spark at all coming to this plug. Between the spark plug and the exhaust uh, header, I want to try to look. this job complete hopefully hopefully bad plug bad plug look at that man. look at that nasty all right let's go you want the gap yes All right, gang, so bad news, they did not have the wires here. So, I, for the sake of uh, just getting the car and making sure that, you know what I'm saying, it is the spark plug uh, that was causing that cylinder not to uh, fire, I'm going to just go ahead and put the plugs in, and then I can uh, just go and pick up some wires and just swap the wires out. The wires are the simple thing uh, to do. The spark plugs... That's the bitch. That is a bitch. So, um, well, it's not that bad, you know what I'm saying? Now that I, I got that manifold down and uh, was able to get that one out, but yeah, spark plugs just bitch. And then I gotta gap them and make sure that they, you know, properly gapped and all that stuff. So, but got the gapper. Uh, so we, we're about to go back. I'm gonna actually take one of the other spark plugs out that's in there and check what those gaps are. Uh, hopefully they are the same as, you know what I'm saying, what the manufacturer calls for, but if not, 
whatever the gap size is on those plugs is what I'm gonna run with. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change that. So yeah. So alright man, we headed back man. Y'all stick around, let's go. Alright gang, so we're back at the property man. We're about to go ahead and take this spark plug out and check the gap on this plug here before we uh actually put all the rest of them in and see what that one is reading. And we're gonna set all the plugs to the same. Definitely was time. Let's see where this lands at. So that's where it's at right there, y'all. So it's probably really supposed to be uh, at the 30, at the 030, is probably where it's supposed to be right there. So we gonna just, and that is all oh, 035. Okay, 035 is where it's supposed to be at, 035. And that's exactly what it calls for 0.35 so the gap is uh, specific to what uh, it's supposed to be we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this plug back in check the gap on it it's probably going to be 0.35 but we're going to just check it anyway Actually, it's a little more. It's 040, so we're gonna, we gonna close the gap just a little bit. Right there. So we good right there. Let's see a 035. Make sure you put it in the right way, guys. I don't have. That's real important to put it in the right way. Opening hole. Even though they both AC Delco, this one is a uh, a lot smaller, but the. Hmm, but the spark is, the, the length is the same. Oh, okay, and another thing, guys, I noticed I didn't put the, the washer on here, but this one has a different opening, so I wonder if that's gonna make a difference, y'all.
Hmm. All right. So, hey, always something new, right? Always something new. Let me see. This is the size. What is that? A 14? No, I ain't gonna be a 14. It's gonna probably be like a 17. Let me grab the right two. calls for a washer. Nope. So this one doesn't call for a washer. So. Okay, I'm going to just throw this one back in, guys. So I just learned something. This one doesn't call for a washer. You know, it's always gonna be something. They ain't gonna just go on easy for you already. That wouldn't be wouldn't be right. Hmm. Alright. See if I can figure this out with a swivel. to the next plug. Why are you back on this so I can remember where it goes because I don't want a lot of wires hanging. That's around it. Put the wrong wire on the wrong spot and can't remember where it go. Alright, so I'll close this up. We got this plug. Three 
five right there hopefully y'all can see it go back in this was the actual problem cylinder right here once again gotta make sure you put it on the right side now this is gonna be the problem Get it in here. Start it with our hands. Jeez, that's going to get it. Because that was the problem in the first place. I think I got the two right here, y'all. I need it. And I do. It's the smaller uh, spark plug wasn't prepared for this today. This is not how I planned on my day being. Right, that one snuck in. Alright, let's move on to this back one here. Because where's the difference? This one's a smaller one.
One more time. <laughs> All right, we got that one gapped at 035, so we're good there. We got to go to the smaller socket. rain on me because that would be a typical stun on reach day. I didn't drop it, no, I didn't drop it. First time. Alright. Run that to three five. Right there. We good. Down, and then we're gonna bolt this side back up. We're 
gonna see if our in if, if our issue is resolved. Because if our issue is resolved, then it is not resolved. Then we have a big problem. I got a big problem. But that plug looks so bad. I'm, I'm hoping that that's what it was. Try to see if you can finger tighten these in. Start it with your fingers first.
think I got everything started to the point where it can go back on. Now let me go ahead and uh, tighten these down and we're going to get this baby a start. Activate this cylinder back. Jeez, what the fuck am I? This job would probably be a lot quicker, guys, if my tools would work. Probably would have been done by now. So I'm not gonna tighten everything down all the way. This shit. Luckily, I got another one. Come on, go in there. Go in there. Go in this. And then I'll tighten you all the way down with this one. Just want you to rock it. Tightening nothing down just yet. I gotta put this last one in. Before I try to tighten anything all the way down. Windy out here, you want to make sure your hood don't fall down and decapitate you.
get in certain ones without the extension. start man cross your fingers gang cross your fingers It worked. 
I was able to overcome the objection and get it done. Myself with my own two dirty ass hands. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I was really, really concerned that I thought I blew the motor on Scrappy and it wasn't good. Definitely not good. But thank God, man, I was over, able to overcome the objection, man, and uh, get it done. And uh, man, just figure it out, man. You know, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, the hardest things in the world is not knowing something, but being able to fight through it and being able to, you know what I'm saying, see your way through something, learn something every day, you know, is the key, the key, you know. And um, man, you know, I know, some people don't like doing different things, but you know me, guys, I'm really hands-on with a lot of things. I try to learn things. I try to keep my mind sharp, you know what I'm saying, on different situations and scenarios all the time. So, man, this was just another thing that I had to overcome and I did it myself and I feel proud. I feel proud. Uh, so yeah, only thing I gotta do, man, is pretty much repeat the same steps on the other side. Of course, I'm not gonna show y'all all of that because I already showed y'all, man. But yes, man, we got it done. It is done. Uh, let's see how tough this side gonna be. This side actually look like it's gonna be, uh, <laughs> we got one, one plug back here that's gonna give us an issue the same exact way. So we gotta do it all over again. But it is what it is, man. Hey, at least we got it done, y'all, man. Man, hey, I don't know, man. Let Scrappy a legendary car. And it deserves to run legendary too. I was looking so good downtown yesterday, man, rolling. People was looking all at this thing like it was a million dollars, man. So many thumbs up. So many people saying, man, what kind of car is that? What year is it? All kinds of stuff, man. People just, man, they just really, really love these G-bodies, man. And I love it too. And uh, we're going to be starting that, that raffle soon, y'all. Uh, talk to uh, my assistant. And uh, I think we got a system. I think we got a system. That's so y'all just stick around for that. But yeah, that's gonna wrap this video up, man. I hope y'all uh, enjoyed the video. Fan just kicked on. Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. It's your boy Stunner Reese, man. Checking out. I'll see y'all on the next video, man. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Don't forget grab your Gap Fest tickets today because we are gonna have Scrappy down there. That's right, man. And uh, yeah, we are gonna play around. All right. I'm out, man. I'll let y'all next video. Peace. Today's video is brought to us by the Street Whip Stunting Facebook group. If you're into custom cars, the Big Wheel culture, Big Wheel racing, anything customized with cars, motorcycles, and trucks, make sure you join the Facebook group, Street Whip Stunting. You can post all your pictures, all your videos, and it's free. So definitely click the link in the description of this video and join the Facebook group, Street Whip Stunting. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, uh, subscribe, share. Uh, what does it like for you, Miguel? Like, yeah. Subscribe, square, like. Square? Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, subscribe, 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 square. Yeah, subscribe, share, <laughs> and like. So it ain't it, square. It, it's square. <laughs> it's square. And share. All right, back subscribe up. to my man.